guys so happy saturday today is the day before my 30th birthday which is tomorrow march 22nd and uh, y'all it's just been a whole lot because of this coronavirus this virus just made me cancel like all my plans or whatever but i'll get to that in a second so right now i was about to go to the park to go work out um do an outside workout but now i have to go to the nail salon because i broke another nail y'all this is the second nail i broke in less than 24 hours and my birthday's tomorrow and the nail salon said today's the last day they're gonna be open and they're gonna be closed until further notice and this is not the regular nail salon I go to either this one's a different one because my nail salon that I go to is um, closed like I had an appointment with them on Thursday but then they called me on Wednesday and said that um, they're closing so my hair appointment I had to reschedule because my hair didn't come in time so I can't get my hair done for my birthday I have to do my own hair luckily I know how to do my hair, own hair or somewhat you know um I had to cancel the club party I had to cancel my dinner because the restaurant closed so um good thing I have some special people in my life that are trying to make something happen but right now, what I'm trying to make happen is get my nail fixed, okay? Okay, so, like I said, um, yeah, so I'm going to the nail salon now, which is the second time. I went this morning at 10 a.m. right when they opened to get my thumb fixed because um, I have, like, the body wash that has a pump on it and my nail, like, kind of broke when I did it, it slipped. So I got that fixed this morning. And like, I'm so embarrassed to go back cause it's been like, what, like six hours? So I called and told her, you know, I broke another nail. Um, and this is what it looks like now, it looks so bad. And these are my real nails, which sucks. So my thumb, I had to get a tip at it. I get SNS, I had to get a tip at it because my real nail broke. And now I have to get another tip on this nail because this one broke. And I had all real nails for a minute. And so, I have to do that. Uh, I know what the issue is because this is not my regular nail place. The issue is that she doesn't put, I don't think she puts enough layers on. Because when I go to my other lady who I'm faithfully, you know, going to, she puts like you know um three or four layers of powder for sns on my nails and i don't know if this lady does that i'm about to tell her that's why they're breaking the other lady knew that how rough i am i'm very rough with things and i don't like pay attention to my nails and i did let them grow longer like this is super long for me so i let them grow longer um yeah so i'm gonna tell her to put two layer three three or four layers on and we're gonna pray that I don't break anymore because I can't walk around like this you know so I'm gonna go to the nail salon and do that and then I'm gonna go to the park to do an outdoor workout by myself and yeah I'll see what I'm doing after that so I'll be back Okay, so I was able to get my nails fixed. Hallelujah. Um, she did put another layer on each nail. So, it was so close. Okay. So, yeah. So, she did that. Thank goodness. And she did not charge me. So, that was so sweet. She's probably feeling my pain because I've been in here a million times today. All right. So, let me turn this music down. Okay, so I got my nails fixed. Thank goodness. Uh, Y'all, I was so embarrassed going in there because that was the second time in six hours that I went in there. And I'm new at that salon, so I don't really, you know, know her like that. But she was really sweet, and she um, fixed me right away. Um, she put another layer on each nail. Um, so I think before, oh no, it's moving. It's 
move it. So I think before she did um, like two coats of the SNS powder on, and I need like three or four, because I'm so rough with things. So she was like, I'm gonna put another layer on each one. So she did that for me, and she fixed my broken nail, you know. So this is the one, I'm kind of like ashy but that's the nail that broke so she fixed it and um she did not charge me for it which i thought was so nice because i was like pulling my car out like here you go so now i'm headed to the park i'm about to go to like this little it's not like a real park it's like a business center park and do an outdoor workout it's already 6 20 so i'll probably work out for like an hour and a half Maybe until like the sun goes down and just a workout there. And then I'm gonna go home and pick out one of my wigs so I can wand curl the whole thing since I could not get my hair done for my birthday. So yeah, as this camera keeps sliding. So I'm gonna do that. And then I think my best friend's supposed to come over. And yeah, I don't know what else I'm really gonna be doing. I don't know what I'm gonna eat later, so we're just gonna go get this workout in first. So I'm here at the park now, and it's kind of like a hidden gym over here. There's actually a lot of people out here, but the area I'm going to, there's not that many people over. So I'm gonna get a workout in real quick and film a little bit of that and try to break a sweat because the sun's going down, it's starting to get cooler out. What? See what we can do out here today. Yeah. to save their lives i don't understand anywho i'm um pulling up to my place and i'm about to take a shower so i can wash all these germs off and then uh, i think i'm going to eat i might make some air fried chicken wings yeah i'm gonna eat that and then i'm going to find a wig to wear for tomorrow and I'm going to either put it on my head to wand curl it or I'll put it on the mannequin head and just like wand curl it while I watch TV, which I'll probably wand curl it while I watch TV because that's just really lazy and sounds good right now. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'll see you guys in a few. So yeah, so I'm gonna make these chicken wings and tell y'all what my plans were for my birthday, okay? Um, they're no longer my plans. <laughs> because of the Rona, okay. Um, I decided to put some kind of makeup on. My hair is doing the craziest thing. Um, I decided to put some kind of makeup on just so I can feel better, you know, cause my birthday is in, you know, like three and a half hours, I think, yeah. So I got these chicken wings. I'm gonna clean these real quick and then I'll be back. I can Okay, I'm gonna season these wings while I tell you guys um, what plants I had and what I'm doing now for my birthday, I guess. So, it is the night, twas the night before my 30th, which is tonight. And, okay, so my original plans were, I first, I was gonna go to Jamaica. Um, I'm about to use some Lowry seasoning salt. I was gonna go to Jamaica but then like all the special people I wanted to go, couldn't go. So I canceled that and I was like, I'm just gonna have something here. So my birthday is on the 22nd and it's on a Sunday. So I was gonna get a section at a club on Saturday, which is tonight. But you know, 
the whole um focus thank you the whole uh, virus thing you know progressed so at first i wasn't really worried about it and then it just started getting like worse and worse they started closing you know the school down they started saying 250 people or less then it went to 50 people and then it went to like 10 people um that you could be around and so it just like killed all my plans because i was like okay i'm pretty sure i'm not gonna be able to go to the club but at least let me have my dinner you know so then they sent the thing about no dining in you have to get takeout and so i was like immediately crushed at that point like i literally that was probably like monday or tuesday i literally started crying in the shower because birthdays to me are so big and like my family always celebrated my birthday every year of my life and i mean i'm not gonna still celebrate it but i had big plans for this one because it's the 30th you know so i was just like what the heck am i gonna do like i was so upset you know but i know like i am very grateful and thankful that i am here and i'm healthy you know i'm not sick um i have a secure secure job it's just like you know stuff every day you know everyday stuff people take for granted like we don't see how important it is really until something like this happens which is crazy so i am thankful that i'm actually here to bring in my 30th you know um but i was just so you know a little bummed that i couldn't celebrate it the way i wanted to and stuff so it's all good because you know a special person is you know planning something for me so um I don't know any details about it all I did was send a list of my 10 friends um, like some people and he's handling the rest of it so I don't know what's happening all I know is something happens at 2 o'clock or whatever I don't I guess so I don't know where I'm going I don't like I have no idea about anything um, all I did was i did order some 30th birthday stuff on amazon so like i got this tiara right here and i got a sash a sash and then i got like decorations and stuff but i gave it to him so i don't know what, what's gonna happen tomorrow i'm kind of excited but yeah it's just crazy like everything that's going on in the world like i would have never guessed or thought that this was gonna happen this year like I was so hyped for 2020 like I love even number years first of all it's my 30th it's a new decade like I just thought everything was gonna be all wonderful and then you know it just all started I felt like in January you know things just started happening so I don't know. we're gonna see what happens but I'm gonna be awake, of course, until midnight, cause I have to, you know, do my, do your, do the midnight birthday thing. Um, I don't know if I, how long I can keep this on. It's just like a little dress shirt thing. But I'm about to air fry these chicken wings. I'm gonna show you them. Let me turn this air fryer on, and I'll show y'all my chicken wings if you want to see them. Um, this is the go in. But yeah, so I was seeing all those memes about Aries season is canceled, March birthdays canceled. I was like, oh my god, it's so sad. But you know, I like was t venting to my mom like, how could this happen, blah blah blah. And you know, I know it's like not the end of the world, but. You know, Aries, like, we don't play about our birthdays. We don't play about, like, celebrations. Aries people are very special people. So if you're an Aries, I know you feel me. And it's just crazy out here, you know? But I can say I had a birthday during a pandemic. That's the name of it, right? Pand yeah. A pandemic. Pandemic. Anyway, I can say I have a birthday during one. But I'm just gonna make the best out of tomorrow, you know, and 
everything will work out and that whatever is meant to be will be there's a reason why all this happened but you know what is crazy like nothing went as planned so like i was supposed to get a sewing and y'all know i don't ever get sewing so i was supposed to get a sewing on friday and uh, the hair that i um the company i was supposed to get the hair from it is being held with dhl so it didn't even come so I had to reschedule my appointment to next week, next Friday. And then um, my nail salon, I told you guys earlier, that whole thing went down. And then the club, you know, of course I can't celebrate there. And the restaurant closed. So we're just gonna make the best out, best out of it and see what happens. Battery is dying, so I need to charge it. But these are my wings. I'm gonna put these in the air fryer. And I'll probably show you what they look like through my phone since this camera's dying. So, I'll be back with some good looking wings in a safe. Okay, here's what my air fried wings look like. So, I'm trying to get the non glare angle. There we go. So, uh, these are from the air fryer. Um, and I use this wing sauce, Sweet Baby Ray's, and uh, this ranch classic ranch from naturally fresh which is like my favorite it's in the refrigerated aisle so i have my little ranch in here and these wings i'm about to get to eat in and when it gets closer to midnight we're going to celebrate how do you open it I'm scared let's do it <laughs> i was see i was not expecting that was scary. You knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Did it pop over there? I don't know where it went. That shit funny. I went in the sink. That was scary. <laughs> Who does that? Did you shake this before you bought it? Mm -hmm. That was scary. They have these at the club? Yeah. They don't go everywhere in the club. No. That's like a bullet. Yeah. Maybe it's not shaking. You shook they it. Might, they might have a twist on it in the club. But, you know. That was... I don't want to do that again. <laughs> I don't want to pop any more bottles. I want to twist. Open. Cheers. Happy birthday. 30-30. Are you supposed to hit it on the thing? I don't know. When you... Uh, so bubbly. Why would you drink it that fast? Mm hmm. I always drink fast. <laughs> God, I'm officially 30. Are you ready? It's a boomerang, right? Yeah. Alright. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I didn't like the face. Mmm. The face wasn't good. But you're supposed to save it. I did. make a good face when I take a shot. Um, I guess I gotta do another one. Put some water in there and take a fake shot. I'm gonna take a real one. It's lit. But you saved that one? I did. My face, it was, that's why I put a filter on. Alright. No, but don't use those filters. It's fine. I'll just try to make a better face. Oh my gosh. Hey you guys, it's my birthday. Dirty. Dirty. Okay, so um, I just did my hair and my makeup and we're gonna pray that it stays just like this. Um, I really like it, I wand curled it. it. Which is so crazy because I really like my hair right now. And I was going to get my hair professionally done and uh, my appointment got canceled. Well, I had to reschedule it, but I did it myself, you guys. It's so pretty. It took forever. It literally took an hour. So, um, right now, I had no idea what to wear because I don't know where I'm going. Um, I just have to be somewhere at like 1.30. So, it's almost like 1 o'clock now. So, I'm going to leave in like 10 minutes or so. But I had um, 
my dr birthday dress picked out. Y'all, I ordered three different dresses and I'm not wearing any of them, but this is a dress that I was gonna wear um, for my dinner, but you know, everything's closed, so yeah. So I was just asking like, what am I supposed to wear? Like, what should I wear, you know? And I really didn't get a <laughs> exact response. Um, uh, so I, like my best friend said just like something that you'll wear to like a day party or like something floral, florally, just like comfortable. It doesn't have to be over the top or whatever. So I literally took out my um, boxes from my storage unit outside and I found this dress, which I'm gonna wear. It's a floral like maxi dress, but it's kind of short in the front. Not that short, but it's like really flowy and it's really comfortable and it has like elastic. So if I do eat, I won't like be feeling extra fat. Um, but I had this dress for probably like four years and I wore it once to like some night party or like happy hour party thing. And I left it in my storage. So God told me not to get rid of that, okay? So I'm gonna wear that. Um, yeah, you guys, I just cannot believe I'm 30. Like it's so crazy cause I feel like I was just, you know, turning 21 or something. And so the fact that I'm like 30 now is crazy. But I need to pack the rest of my stuff up. I got extra clothes. And it, like, by extra clothes, I mean like leggings and a <laughs> sweatshirt. Because I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's going to happen for the rest of the day. Um, I got my little makeup bag to refresh my makeup. Um, sprays, some sandals. So I'm just excited because I don't know. So I'm about to um, put my dress on and then I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so I am back. Um, so here's my dress. Um, and I have on my clear shoes. So this is what I'm wearing for my 30th. I did not think I was gonna be wearing this, but this is what I'm wearing and I love it. So um, I'm about to go over to his house and um, I, I just know to be there at 1.30. So, I'm about to head over there. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know where I'm going, nothing. But we are going to find out. I was excited and anxious. Like I always, you know, I always am the person who plans everything. I'll talk about more when I get in the car. But let me get my stuff so I can head over there now, okay? Hey you guys, so I'm on my way there. Um, turn this all the way down, copyright issues, you know. Um, I'm headed there. I'll be there in 19 minutes. But like I was saying, um, I'm not used to having other people plan stuff for me. Um, like I literally plan everything in my life. I'm a planner. So you know how like some people are spontaneous, I'm like, the planning type like I have to know what is going on or I get anxiety so like last night I just I did not know what was going on all I knew was to be somewhere at a certain time and you know that's it so I'm over here just like freaking out kind of cuz I don't even I don't know what to expect it's just crazy like every birthday I mean, since I was old enough to plan a birthday, like I have planned it. When I go on trips, I plan my trips. So I'm pretty sure this birthday, my 30th is already a uh, um, one for the books. Uh, member, is it mem yeah, memorable birthday already. Just because of this whole like, you know, pandemic thing that's going on, like, my birthday was during it. I can say that to my kids when they get older. Yeah. So I'm just excited. So I'm just driving through um, downtown. Well, I'm about to be like downtown. And uh, we're going to see oh, what happens. It still has not hit me though.
Yeah. Oh. Birthday. Oh, you so birthday. I'm wearing a surprise me for my birthday. Yes. I was so surprised. Like, I had no idea. You didn't. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. 